3D printer CS30 from Chinese company Chris. Hey people, as you can see, I have another machine, and as I said earlier, this time I have 3D printer from Chinese company Sris, and actually I have a model CS30. Basically, this 3D printer is really interesting because it does not cost too much money. The price, depending on the shop, costs around $300 but at the same time it offers several useful features first of all in my experience the most important feature of this printer is huge printing size so basically printing size for this machine is 300 x 300 x 400 millimeters so you can see you can print really big 3d modules but also it provides great build quality and the printing speed is between 20 to maximum 100 millimeters per second which is, which is really okay for this price range and the first thing I have noticed this is the first printer which I have owned that on the front size of the case it has USB port and SD card slot basically all printers which I owned before they had on the left or on the right side which is not always convenient and also if you are the beginner in the 3d printing world then you're lucky because this printer is very easy to assemble Basically, it comes in two pieces, so what all you need to do is these towers connect with the base and just connect some cables and that's it. Basically, you need approximately 20 minutes to assemble this machine. Of course, I am going to show you in the next few minutes how to use this device to start printing, to calibrate and everything else you need to know. But also, I'm going to show you in which program you can use for printing. And of course, lately, I am going to show you what kind of printing quality you can expect with this 3D printer. So stay tuned. So when you turn on the printer, this will show up on the screen. And basically, the user interface is very simple to use. The first icon tells you that you can preheat the extrusion and heat bed to the desired temperature. The second one allows you to move the hotbed and the head of the printer in any direction. Uh, this is for extrusion to load the filament or to unload the filament out we have here some settings for the language let's see it has Chinese, Deutsch, English, Russian, Spain, French and Korean so it has many different languages available also it supports Wi-Fi if you install the Wi-Fi module And of course, when you for the first time turn on the printer, you need to uh, level the heat bed with this function. So basically, in each point, it has five points you need to calibrate your head. I am going to show you how to do that in the next video. And, bas and basically, the last icon, which is most important is printing basically uh, you can print from memory card or by usb connection in this case i already have inserted the sd card here and all you have to do is click printing and select 
the desired file. After you do that, you just click OK to start printing. So basically, now in the next few minutes, I am going to show you in which program you can create 3D modules which you can save on the SD card. So be and after you do that, you save files on the SD card and all you have to do is insert SD card in the printer and you're good to go to start printing and by clicking printing and selected files which you want to print. So let's go and see what programs you can use for the printing. Okay, in this part of the video I'm going to show you what program you need to have to start printing with this machine. Basically Ultimator Cura is best solution because it is completely free program and it's quite easy to use. When you install the program or you have already installed the program, you need to add printer from this list. At this moment, three printers are not listed, but don't worry because in the next update of this program, they will add their printers and you don't need to worry because Ultimator Cura uh, releases new versions really quick so don't worry about that but also if the printer is not listed on this list you can still use series CS30 or any other module by just adjusting several uh, options so basically I have added Creality Ender 3 machine because it's very similar after you do that you need to adjust some settings by clicking manage printers and then click machine settings and here you can see what settings I have inputted this this size this is the printing size what kind of hot bed it has what shape okay and for extruder just this and you are good to go this will look when you open the program for the first time you just click custom and then input these settings this is the printing temperature 200 celsius and the hotbed temperature 60 so this is in my opinion good settings for printing also in fill pattern select this uh, this is a good also function and enable support if the module needs support for each module from internet they will say if the module needs support or not and what kind of printing quality you want is this and how much infill destiny you want so this is up to you infill destiny and this when you do that you need to click slice and just wait a little while because it will prepare the file for your printer okay because the module is huge huge module we, we need to wait a little more for smaller modules its slicing process will be much faster and when the slicing process is done we need to save the file okay so basically normally for huge modules the printing process is longer this is approximate time approximate and how much filament it needs this is just approximate but very close and then when you are satisfied with this just click save to file enter any name for example happy face and click save and that's it you are done after that you need to copy this file to SD card uh, which I tell, told you earlier 
when you copy the file to SD card, you need to insert the SD card in the printer and you can start printing by, by clicking print on the screen of the printer. And that's it. As I said earlier, I am going to show you now what kind of printing quality you can expect from this machine. But first of all, I'd like to say that this printer is quite easy to use and it is enjoyable to work with this machine. And as you can see, I have made two different modules. This is the first one, it's really cool. Use the force. And as you can see, the printing quality is really good including details and the second one is really funny module everyone knows what is this and i can conclude that with this module 3d printers can be very useful i hope you agree with me on this it's really cool what you can do with machines like this one overall if you're looking for good quality printer at affordable price you should definitely consider Sris CS30 because it offers good build quality it's quite easy to assemble it has huge printing size and it provides good printing quality so that's it folks I hope you like this review, if you have any questions please ask in comments and I would appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Thank you, bye.